Emergency broadcast. Would you like to know more? Dear pilots of New Eden, Eve Echoes will undergo maintenance on 9-16-2020 at 8 UTC plus zero and will take approximately 120 minutes to complete. During this time, players will be unable to log in to servers. We kindly ask for your understanding and patience during maintenance. Update. Improved non-offline autopilot. Now the autopilot will not automatically begin the next step upon entering a new system. Instead, it will wait for the game client to finish loading first. Fix the collision issue out of the ITC market. Skill point compensations have been sent out to all players who failed to gain profits from the skill point bug that profited some players. Improved AI's weapon logic, reducing the server load. Fix the issue of the volume for repackaged ventures being too high. Increase the optimal range of sentry guns in low security systems. Please remember to reach safety before maintenance begins. Please remember not to accept new encounters before maintenance begins. Maintenance will begin approximately one hour after this transmission is initially broadcast. Maintenance is expected to last approximately two hours. This has been your game maintenance announcement. Fly safe. And remember, service guarantees citizenship. Would you like to know more? Additionally, an announcement in the Discord says that next week's weekly maintenance will occur on Thursday the 24th instead of Wednesday the 23rd due to moving. Speculation. The improved non-offline autopilot, that means that when you have your phone open and you are autopiloting, assuming you are watching the screen, you won't experience the weird jumping or tearing when the game tries to automatically autopilot before you finish loading the next area. The collision issue out of the ITC. This will make it easier when you are trying to autopilot or just jump away as soon as you undock from an ITC. Before, it was a collidable object, much like I've mentioned in certain missions, that would prevent you from aligning or warping because you're bumping into something. The skill point compensation is what we were originally told would arrive on the 10th. This is because there was a skill point bug where some players were getting more skill points than they were supposed to be getting. And that's why we got 200,000 a few weeks back and they said they had to do the math to find out how many skill points different people actually gained and we will be receiving the remainder of that boost after downtime today. Improved AI weapon logic, reducing the server load. I'm hoping that this will help with the desync issues. Desync is when you are pressing buttons like you're firing your guns and the guns are not actually firing in the game. Or even worse, you're trying to activate an armor repairer or shield booster and it's not activating or you're not seeing it activate and deactivate properly. We'll skip venture volume because that's pretty self-explanatory. Now, increased optimal range of sentry guns in low security systems. Now, because this does not say bug fix or fixed and exploit, I warn you that there are probably still going to be gate camps in low security space. However, if you're one of the people who was gate camping, it's probably going to be more difficult. You might have to find a new way to tank the sentry guns. And that is that. This has been the Eve Echo Chamber with your game maintenance announcements. Thank you for watching. Fly safe.